You're watching News 4 This Morning in High Definition. Good Monday morning to all of you. Hope you had a nice weekend. We're glad you're with us here on News 4 This Morning. I'm Claire Kellett. And I'm Mike Colombo in for Andre. He's got the morning mm -hmm. off. And we've got weather and traffic coming up at 5.04. But first, we've gathered new information overnight on a story we first brought you as breaking news last night at 10. An update now to a story we've been tracking for you all weekend. The six-month-old baby taken from his family's southwest Missouri home late last week was found safe in Florida. Police in Anderson, Missouri, issued an Amber Alert for Mitchell Harris on Friday, saying his father took him from his great-grandfather, who has legal custody. The boy's mother was also traveling with them. Both were taken into custody yesterday in the Miami area. Today marks two years since what was supposed to be a wonderful Mediterranean vacation turned tragic when the Costa Concordia cruise ship hit a reef and capsized, killing 32 people. The wreckage still sits off the coast of Italy this morning. In April, crews will start attaching huge flotation tanks to refloat the ship with hopes of moving it in June. This morning, former Secretary of Defense Robert Gates says he has no regrets about anything he's written in his newly released memoir where he questions President Obama's leadership. All right, this next story is bizarre. <laughs> it's an odd annual event that is spreading across the country. Yeah. The sixth annual No Pants Metro Ride took place this weekend. We weren't participants. No. This video from New York City shows dozens of people stripped down to their undies. Hello. And, you know, they just decided to hop on a metro train. Missouri lawmakers have differing opinions on how much money will be available for the state's budget. Governor Jay Nixon says his projection is higher than what lawmakers estimate. That disconnect leads many to believe there will be cuts to the governor's budget plan. Nixon will announce his projection later this month in his State of the State address. <laughs> I think it's a lot of money, but we're happy to say all of that will go to charity. Yes, and those gentlemen can certainly afford it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, apparently so. Holy yeah. cow. 1.4 mil. That's... Hope that sculpture is right when they walk in their front yeah. door or something displayed <laughs> I hope so. prominently. It's made out right. of bacon or something. Maybe I'm on board, <laughs> but I don't know. Well, it's not just Target anymore. This morning, we're learning more retailers have been hacked meaning more personal information, including credit card info, was stolen. Maribel Aber joins us with more on the latest security breach. This is very scary, Maribel, for many of those out there who've been victims with this. Hey, good morning, Mike. It certainly is. And, and well, Steve, after that trip we took to Boston for the World Series, I've never been more grateful that we had separate rooms. Yeah, just, just the paper's up. Just tell me when it's over. I'm afraid he's in his sleeping it's gear. It's going to be okay. So. Up all yeah. night. Up all night. That's me. Up all night. Is it over yet? It, it, it it's is. a novel concept. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. Thank you, Steve. We'll check back in with you later. Matt? Mm -hmm. You are well clothed this morning yes. with some good news about the weather. <laughs> the six-month-old baby taken from his family's southwest Missouri home late last week was found safe in Florida. Police in Anderson, Missouri issued an Amber Alert for Mitchell Ferris on Friday saying his father took him from his great-grandfather who has legal custody. People living in one North St. Louis County neighborhood tell us they're relieved. That's after they called News 4 because of a broken water main that wasn't getting fixed. Neighbors along Maryland Court in Berkeley say they've been calling Missouri American Water for nearly a week because a pipe broke in the extremely cold temperatures. Today marks two years since what would have been a wonderful Mediterranean vacation turned tragic when the Costa Concordia cruise ship hit a reef and capsized, killing 32 people. The wreckage still sits off the coast of Italy this morning. In April, crews will start attaching huge flotation tanks to refloat the ship with hopes of moving it in June. Doing that, though, is expected to cost more than a billion dollars. 614 on this Monday morning, Matt Chambers joins us this morning, and I'll tell you what, very different from where we were at a week ago. <laughs> Says the guy that was stuck out <laughs> in it for how many hours uh, last week? I weekend? don't want to yeah. talk about Let's, it. We're over that. <laughs> that is it. Rodman and other retired players were in North Korea last week playing a game to celebrate the birthday of leader Kim Jong-un. Many people feeling like Dennis should just stick in North Korea. Yeah. This morning, former Secretary of Defense Robert Gates says he has no regrets about anything written in his newly released memoir where he questions President Obama's leadership. We don't have to tell you about all the wild <laughs> temperature swings that we have had over the past week. No, we don't. They've certainly taken their toll on us, but more so on the yeah. roads. Now you've got those potholes popping up seemingly everywhere. Uh, Ray Preston is taking it out for us this morning. And Ray, I've driven over him. I know Claire has. Tell us more. 
Good Monday morning. It is 641 as we look at Lambert Airport this morning. Last week with the temperatures as they were, everybody wanted to catch a flight south. Thankfully, when you wake up today and head out the door, it'll be much warmer than we're used to lately. Details on that coming up. Fire crews in Australia have their hands full fighting a series of brush fires. One person is believed dead and more than 40 homes have been destroyed. Take a look. This is the aftermath of yesterday's fire in the western part of Australia.